They've got to be here somewhere. Where's my first lieutenant? Here I am, sir. Yes, sir. Right indeed. Here indeed. Yes, I am, sir. I want you to turn this settlement upside down until you find Lady Redbush and Griffin Peterson. That fat bastard thinks he can steal my bride and get away with it? I wouldn't bet a corn farthing on him escaping. No, I wouldn't. Not a corn farthing would I bet. No, sir. What's wrong with you? Little wrong in the head I am from eating some bad sausages. Yes, some bad sausages that I eat indeed, sir. Yes, I did some bad sausages, ain't I? Hello, Your Majesty. I have recovered the crown jewels. Mum, may I say it's been a pleasure serving you, but I've decided to retire. We are losing interest in this conversation. It would be a wonderful cap on my career to have a knighthood. Come, come now, Holmes. You're not... Sometimes the bigger ladies take a little longer, you see. What? you got to be kidding me. Well, that's all right, Brian. We can go to my writing spot. Brian, look at my jump! Look at my jump! Look at my jump! Whoa! This place has the best pizza and Pepsi, Brian. Did you hear me? The best pizza and Pepsi. Oh, no, my pizza and Pepsi. Oh, hey, Peter. Come on in. Thanks for coming by. Uh, no problem, buddy. Here, I brought you something. I figured anyone living alone with 73 cats needs to have a double XL Minnie Mouse sweatshirt. Thank you so much. This won't fit at all. It's perfect. So how's it going? Well, not bad. Got plenty of company. Well, that's good. I haven't seen you at the clam. Well, I've been pretty busy. So can I get you something to drink? Sure. What do you got? Well, I've got water with cat hair in it. Eh, anything else? I've got lemonade with cat hair in it. Eh, kind of a summer drink. Anything else? Oh, sure. Cat hair ginger ale? Nope. Cat hair iced tea? Uh, again, summer. You want to just take a look in the fridge, see what I got? Sure. Someone just had kittens in my mouth. Welcome, American Johnny. We give our only best room for you. Would you like smoking or chain smoking? Uh, smoking, I guess? Yes, and how many ridiculous things would you like your toilet to do? Do you have one that goes yum, 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 yum? Ah, presidential suite. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, Mort, I, I hate to do this. What? What's happening? They want me in the line. Well, where do I go? Oh? Okay, but I still get paid for today, right? I, I wouldn't know. You need to talk to Marla. Sorry. Ooh! You okay? What do you care? Laugh and cry. Please, That's exactly the point. My child. He's my child, and nothing matters more than his well-being. Oh, God, this is going to be a Lois story, isn't it? Game of Thrones is on, just a reminder. Hey, dude, can you pass me a speck of spaz? Sorry, bruh, all out. You want a cube of fruish? No, I'm not into fruish. I got to tear a laser dragon. Can I handle that? I don't know. Can you? Gum, what the hell is going on? Well, it's a long shot, but so is the shouting Arab Graham business. From Joan and Keith. Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Irashaimase! Here comes a black guy! This is everything about this clam. I love it. Ugh. I was just gonna, that's exactly. Hey, I, I remember, I remember, I remember when, I, I remember when, I remember when QuickTime here passed out in the, in the booth, this booth, and we did stuff to him that you do to ladies, and we, we promise we never tell you. What? To the clown! No, oh, you, what? Your hair looks stupid. All, all the greatest, all the greatest moments of my life I spent right here in the, in this booth. Maggie's first word, Bart jumping that canyon, Mister Plow. All the greatest moments of my life. Why is why is label guy trying to punch me? Punch you first, label guy. 
I gotta go pee. I don't I wanna don't wanna get up. Joe, where's the, that thing? Where's the thing? Where's the catheter thing? No, it's mine, it's private. Hey, what happens if I blow in this end? No, it all explode. I'm gonna. You do it better than Bonnie. It takes a man to know what a man likes. Oh, hi, Bonnie. What's up? Hi, Lois. Um, I hate to bother you, but I'm going out of town for a few days to visit my father in the hospital. I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. And go have sex with Quagmire. Quagmire! Oh, shucks. You can't blame a guy for trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity! Hey, what's that in there? That's a sensory deprivation room that prepares our astronauts for the terrifying emptiness of space. Oh, cool. Hey, come on, Brian. Try it with me. Ah! Things got crazy so fast! You want to know what kind of person Glenn Quagmire is? You want to know what made me the person I am? Then put me on the stand! Lois, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? Okay, but only with the sound off. Fine, I'll just do it with my mouth. Oh, damn it! Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Ow! Damn. Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? I'm not coming back in a week or ever. I've had it with you, and I've had it with this whole damn government. Fine. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Up party people? Ah, oh, what the hell are these things? Curtains or something? Boring! Holy smoke, it's crowded in here! Hey! There, ah, oh, that's terrific. That opens up the whole room. Peter, there you are. Where the hell have you been? I've been worried sick. Oh, so I had a few Red Bulls, drove to New York. What's a big deal? Hey, here's my little man! <laughs> hey, Meg, come here. Have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck. Which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <coughs> Meg, come back here! I meant sex! Oh, hiya, Brian. All right, Peter, now I know your head is still a blank slate, but you gotta listen to me when I say... Wait, did you just call me Brian? Oh, yeah. You've got your memory back? Uh-huh. Happened yesterday on my way back from the grocery store. Hi, Peter. Hey! You just snubbed me in front of my own house. I thought we'd come to an understanding. Look, fella, I don't know who you are, and I don't want to. So why don't you just go back to your crabgrass? This happens to be fresh marathon sod. <coughs> oh, man, I just got my memory back. And as I recall, I don't really care for you. <coughs> Wait a minute, who are you? <coughs> hey, I know you. <coughs> What's your beef, stranger? <coughs> well, if it isn't my old nemesis. Previously on Family Guy. Dad's working for the Trump White House? Uh, hey, Stewie, can we do that again? Maybe a little more energy? Uh, no? I, I think we can use it. Oh, yay, that's awesome. Wow, Stewie, that was beautiful. Did you write that? No, but can you tell me who did? Log on now. All right, let's tally up those responses. Wow. You know who that is? You know who Thornton Mellon... First of all, it was Henry David Thoreau. But do you know who Thornton Mellon is? That was Rodney Dangerfield's character in Back to School. You feel good about yourselves? Huh? This is why the other countries are beating us, you know. So, you know, you got only yourself to blame next time you go to the vet and complain that that Indian doctor is too rough with your cat. Oh, which way the horse goes? Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me? And where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that. Ah! Time for a good door, bad 
door. Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa son, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad. But shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, you lose Jess! All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No, you will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know! We begin with a 100-meter dash for people afraid of yellow tape. It's anybody's race now, Tom. <laughs> and it's Odai Mutombo of Kenya. All right, here's your Mike and Ikes with all the Ikes taken out. I hope you were careful, because I swear to God, if I find one Ike in there, I am going straight to Babs. It's fine, I double-checked. Here's your Mikes. What's next? Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. <clears throat> people of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. Well, this is where Meg was staying. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. Oh. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have some death to defy. Wow, this is just like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. Hey, Joe. Good morning, Peter. I'm here to revoke your driver's license. What? Why? We got reckless driving, disturbing the peace, plus the driver of one of those other cars was a virgin whose hymen was busted by the airbag, so rape. Okay, well, I guess you can take my license. Of course, it's all the way up here. Peter, knock right it right off. Here, Give it to right me. Here. Give me the officer. damn license. Well, don't, don't you want it? This is yeah. in poor taste, yeah. Peter. You're starting there? to yeah. piss me well, off. You do You're starting to piss right. me off! Ah! Some show. Lois, those men showed me the way to an identity I've been searching for my whole life. I am going to do everything a redneck is supposed to do. Ugh, this is going to be more painful to watch than when he ate half a fudgesicle in one bite. Oh, boy, a fudgesicle! <laughs> what? Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Whoa, sweet bod. You lift, bro? I've heard all I need to hear to make a decision. If you ask me, neither of these beers is wholly original. They're both pale imitations of my favorite beer, Bud Rock. Oh! <laughs> But rendering a verdict is something I'm paid to ever never do. Yeah. And I find in favor of Duff. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hello? Uh hey, I'm I'm in the wrong Springfield. Now, you guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets, too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. Okay, all right, last one across the highway to Applebee's has to pay. You got a cross at the light! Shut up! What did you say? Oh, we doing this? We doing this? You're damn right we are. Watch out, I got God on my side. I will f kill you. Man, Epcot nailed Asia. <gasps> American Johnny. Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. 
It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. I got a story about a fat guy who's starving and bored. Look, Peter, if you're that hungry, go down to the dock and find Daddy and we'll get dinner started. You're not going to get dinner started. She's going to tell that sloppy old Spanish maid to do it. And she will, but only because she needs money to pay for medicine for her prematurely overweight son, Diabito. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. Pizza for Adam West. No! You gave me Canadian bacon instead of bacon? This misdeed cannot go unpunished. Pizza delivery man, prepare to meet your maker at the hands of my cat launcher. Hey, look! Somebody tried to break into the dirty movie store! Quick, grab as many as you can before someone sees us! Damn, I lost them! All right, cats, back in the bag. Come on, Fluffy. Come on, Mittens. Come on, Paul. What a ridiculous name for a cat! Paul! That's a person's name! A person's name! <laughs> oh, Paul. What's wrong with you? Why are you acting like such a bully? Because there are two kinds of people in this world, Chris. There are bullies and there are nerds. And there are hot Asian chicks. They'll do what you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You better believe it, buddy. They will do what you want. Because they know. They know what you want. Oh, 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 don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Me, big American man. My point being that I'm a bully, not a nerd. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Dad, get away from me! Uh -oh. Dad, Peter Spots are coming on, to get you! Peter Spots are coming to get you! Here comes Peter Spots! Coming to get you! Oh, in the kitchen, Meg! All right, you guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show Archer? You watch that show Archer? Here's that guy Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. What is this? Oh, what was I worried about? Ah, 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 oh God! Ah, ah. He's bleeding, man! He's bleeding, and nobody's doing anything about it! I'll tell you what the news of the world is! We're in a lot of trouble! Well, I've still got to do a little work on it. What's it called? Susie. Wow, a song named after a girl. There aren't a million of those already. Name 20. Rosanna, Roxanne, Michelle, Allison, Sarah, Angie, Brandy, Mandy, Gloria, Cecilia, Maggie Mae, Jessica, Nancy, Barbara Ann, Billie Jean, Layla, Lola, Polly, Helena, Jenny from the Block. Name six more. Sherry, Laura, Wendy, Maria, Peggy Sue, Minnie the Moocher. Name five more. Tracy, Jean, Jane, Mary Ann, Eleanor Rigby. Go f*** yourself. Oh, my God. I just drove. Dude, that was amazing. I can drive. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much. Killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. Now, let's see what else this new nanny has up her sleeve. Yeah, where's Peter? Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. 
I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. Oh, right, right, let's go. Oh, boy. Yep, there's the problem. Not drawn yet. Come on, guys. Really? Let's go. What the hell's going on up there? Come on, guys. This is trespassing, and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. Not overly affectionate. Everyone has fingernails and everyone wants cash. So send us all your fingernails and we'll send you some cash. Fingernails for cash.com. Fingernails for cash. Remember, it's just fingernails, so don't expect much cash. Fingernails for cash.com. Our service never fails. Just take the cash and don't ask why we want your fingernails. Because we might be building a fort with them. Fingernails for cash.com. You get the cash, we get to build a fort with your fingernails. Hey guys, how about a little TV? We can watch a baby thing together. Baby Einstein, Muppet Babies. Uh, what's CSI Babies? What's this? They can't solve this crime. They're just frightened babies. They don't even know it's a crime. They just know their parents aren't there. They're scared. Now I'm scared. Turn this off. No, ah, that's not what I want. Ah, I'm going to go hide in my couch fault. Is CSI Babies over yet? Wow, Meg is going to the Olympics. Let's celebrate by burning our lips on vending machine hot chocolate. Ow. Ow. Mine has whipped cream, so I didn't get it on the first sip. Ow! Mr. Superman, no here. Oh, uh, well, we're looking for a missing... I know. Uh, Mr. Superman, he, he no, he's here. Yeah, okay, well, uh, can you just give him this flyer? I know. No, no. I have no money. Just take this flyer, and if you see this baby... No, no. Out of my way, Peter. Me and my new friends are gonna go surf gliding and try to somehow work a mountain bike in there. You've changed, Joe. Like I did when I went through puberty. Hey, you guys feel like playing some baseball? Excuse me, I'm gonna go masturbate. All right, what better place to find God than the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one? I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's is so it hot out. Parking downtown? Who gets married I on a get off these bad feet? Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh? Somebody take a picture. I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. Hey, you know, we should drive up there and use that car to eat for free. That's a great idea. Let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. <gasps> black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. Oh, oh, I want to do one. This is better than a spin class where the instructor is just two giant Swedish legs. <laughs> Congratulations! 80% of success is just showing up! The other 20% is super loud five-year-old Coldplay songs! Yeah! Who's ready to puke at 5 a.m.? Yeah! yeah. Ah, this is great! Peter, where are you? I'm a spin-class bicycle seat. <laughs> oh no! The one middle-aged post-gastric bypass guy! He didn't clean these shorts from last class! Thanks for having us over. Yeah, it's a wonderful dinner. And on this beautiful new china, you guys have a lot of new stuff. Yeah, Lois has been splurging her ass off. Yeah, she has. You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. Just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! 
<gasps> it's a shocker horn. I know what it is. Okay, you all remember the plan. We walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? Well, I haven't seen Meg this happy since that bus broke down in front of our house. <gasps> Hi, can we use your phone? Holy crap, it's a children of the corn! All right, you guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show Archer? You watch that show Archer? Here's that guy Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we gonna do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not gonna do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. We now return to the Awkward Stepdad Show. Man, your mom's a real groaner. Do you hear that in your room? Hey, what's with the stairs? Why do they look different? Oh, I'm trying to prove that Peter's the one cussing in the house, so I waxed the staircase for him to fall down. Hey, Lois, have you seen my Spider-Man socks? I can't seem to... Ouch! Oh, heavens! Oh, goodness gracious! That's smart! Oh, my! Egad! Well, I'll be! Yikes! Peter, when did you become so polite? Oh, I've been hanging out with Caillou's beta dad. In fact, I'm meeting him at the park to eat unsalted saltines on the swings. I feel like you're wearing what Rachel Maddow would wear to a pumpkin patch. I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Have I told you that we're all friends again? Yes, Peter. We were just talking about it. You're going to take me to the zoo and roll me around. And we're all friends again. It's been three weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. Now, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know, I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Uh, you're gonna start dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me, I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run. It's that pervert. Everybody into my safety basement. Oh, oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. You'll never have to wear a... Yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. Ah! This is what rednecks watch, Brian. Peter, that's disgusting. Here, spit in this cup instead. Oh, there's my apple juice. Stewie, wait, don't... Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Ah, uh, never mind. Ah! 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 Name Striker Fox. Oh, Lois just texted, burgers or meatballs for dinner? I'll text back for you. Same thing, bitch, just different shapes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, battery died. Yes, I'll take this teddy bear, this ruler, this piece of string, and this cardboard box. Mmm. Why are you walking so slowly? Turns out this costume is about 80% balls, and most of it's dragging behind me. Uh, we got a tangle. Oh, what do I do? 
Stop walking. I'll go back. You go forward. Are you sure? It's counterintuitive. I don't know. That, that when you want to go right left, you go right. I'm just going to pull forward. Don't pull. Don't pull. I, I think if you Stop come this way and, and I go that way. Everybody freeze. Okay, let's just think about this. Hey, wait. Wait, guys. Well, it's just me and my old nemesis. First step. <laughs> hey, Joe, what you doing? You out for a walk? I hate this block. Yeah, but Peter's so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... B this, uh, better... I don't know. Here's a list of celebrities I don't like. I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the Duff Goons. Oh my god, this has been a 12-minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? Maybe I come around this side. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I come around this no, side. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I climb over top. No, 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 no. You need help building more fence? Okay, come on over. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. So in addition to buying 200,000 lottery tickets, you had 400,000 fake ones printed up? I had to be sure. We now return to slightly too early comedy club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and... <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be... <laughs> Amen! Why not? Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey... Oh, no! <laughs> wow! I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! God, this is such an East Coast pharmacy. How are we gonna find gauze and bandages in the middle of all this crap? Uh, I think he keeps him next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just below the balsa wood gliders and the net bag of flip-flops and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle ball bats and the spark spitting cars. I don't... Oh, next to the wax bottles of weird juice. Yes, behind the plastic bag of Mexican soldiers from the Alamo and the super elastic bubble plastic. Oh, Oh, yeah, I got him. Okay, skinny legs, here I come. Good morning. Are you ready to sweat? I woke up sweating. Okay, let's climb this hill. I want to impress you, but also see if I can peek down your sports bra. Ugh. Ow! 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 My balls! Oh, the other ones. 
Ow, 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 ow! Did you hear that? I think Peter hurt his balls. I didn't hear anything. Hmm, must have been at a frequency only dogs can hear. Excuse me, I have to go bark. Okay, everyone, time to leave for the traditional town tree lighting ceremony. What's happening now? I can't hear her. Sweet. Tree lighting. Guess that means it's showtime. Wait, what is this? Oh, nothing. Just my own tradition of putting four dozen hard-boiled eggs in a Kroger bag and passing them out at the tree lighting. Okay, we get it, Meg. You're dark and different. Wow, Meg really is dark and different. Yeah, they call me Meg the Egg because of my big bag of eggs. Uh, I hope you guys don't start calling me that, but you can if you want to. Oh, is this the Meg the Egg thing? Yeah, no one's on board with that. Boy, this takes me back. You know, I was uh, kind of one of those theater kids in high school. I pooped in the pot again. I'm gonna need somebody to clean me up. <laughs> it's really bad this time. Yo, you 5 -o? No, I'm 87, but how flattering. Now get me drugs, scummy drug dealer. You got it, mayor of our city. Mm. I wonder which of us is the bigger criminal. Oh, that's easy, you are. Hey, can you teach me to sell drugs? Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about, you know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! Well, I better get to work then. But I seriously doubt that I'll be able to pull this off. Hey, come on. Anything's possible. Like when that Starbucks cup made it onto Game of Thrones. This is it! Here it comes! Here it comes! Hey! Oh my god! That's so cool! I can't believe this. What's the internet saying? They... they thought you were great. <laughs> Okay, now we've got him. The real Carter would never go to a Starbucks. He thinks they're too liberal and pretentious. Coffee for Brent? <laughs> Latte for Cecil? <laughs> Beanie? <laughs> None of those people are real! I'm stealing all your sugar packets and napkins! Woodstock's over! Screw off. I don't want anything to do with you or your damn laws. Oh, just take a look, will you? <sighs> You're banning straight-to-video Disney films? Absolutely. I mean, look at this. Aladdin 4. Jafar may need glasses. Number one. Number two. Um... Number one. Number two. Um... About the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three. Number four. Number three. Five. And six. Oh... Uh. Five and six. Uh, About the same? Yeah, they're pretty much... Can I see five one more time? Five and six. Yeah, they're about the same. We now return to Ethiopian Hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. Let's see. I guess 185 pounds. Wrong. I'm 95% helium. Yeah, it's good to have you back, buddy. Thanks, Dad. I didn't really fit in there anyway. The rooms were only 15 by 20. <laughs> uh, if I didn't learn to laugh at myself, I'd be dead right now. Why don't you take your stuff up to your room, Chris? Okay, Mom. Cut it out! I'm just trying to live my life! No one taught me about carbs! Come on, Lois, I think we're wasting our time here. 
They're obviously very committed to their beliefs. But their beliefs are crazy, Brian. I don't know who's crazier. These people are those Seventh-day Adventists. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember Him by going to church and praising Him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> Peter! Dead? What do you think you're doing, Peter? You were raised Catholic. If you forsake your religion, you'll spend eternity in hell. Oh, God, I don't want that. Then you better knock off all the Jewish stuff. Well, all right, if that's what you think is best. Oh, wait, Dad, before you go, can you say, Peter, you must go to the Dagobah system? Peter, you must go to the Dagobah system. <sighs> Thanks. Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois, I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. You're my friend. You're my best friend. Let's choke on these together. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's switch. <laughs> eh, don't oversell it, Lois. No, it was good. It almost felt like it was written by a real writer. I read your article too, Brian. Seems to me you should spend less time working for the paper and more time working on that novel you've been working on. You know what I mean? ah! Hey, Dad, you're on. Hey, PTV fans, welcome to Douchebags. We're out here on the I-95 overpass doing our first segment, I Dare You to Crap Off of That. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. I dared him. All right, here we go. I say, are those two pigs vomiting up there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, Lois, before you start yelling, let me remind you that you were the one who recklessly drove into oncoming crap. It was inexcusable, Peter, and Stewie may never be able to ride in the car again. Turn off the windshield wipers. They don't work. They're just making it worse. Who is it? It's your granddaughter, Red. How do I know it's you? Oh, come on, that's a perfect imitation. Open up, I brought strawberry shortcake and Cool Whip. And what? Oh, sorry. I mean, Cool Whip. That's my little girl. We'll do a show for people with no attention span. We'll call it the Six Second Talk Show. I guess that could work. All right, Six Second Talk Show in three, two. I'm Peter Griffin, and this is the Six Second Talk Show. My guest tonight is Joe Biden. And that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching. Good night. How was that? Yeah, it kind of dragged. Well, Congress is at it again. Good night. It's the Six Second Talk Show, and now your host, here. Welcome to the Six Second Talk Show. I'm Peter Griffin, and now our musical guest, Bare Naked Ladies. Get Span. I'd like to thank our musical guest, Bare Naked Ladies. Good night. <laughs> look, look, do you like it? Yes. What do you like about it specifically? I don't know. Pick something or I'll blow your brains out. I like... How it looks like an owl. Thank you for the compliment! <laughs> hey, Peter, you want to earn another ten bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. I'll give you ten dollars for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh, I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. That means you got to do anything for ten bucks. Okay. I have a request. Yay, Joe's chin!
Ding fries it done. Ding fries it done. Ding fries it done. Ding fries it done. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. I work at Burger King making flame broil whoppers. I wear paper hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding fries it done. Ding fries it done. Ding fries it done. Ding fries it done. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. Don't touch the fries in hot fat. It really hurts bad, and so do skin grafts. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Wait for the bell. Can't hear the bell. Where is the bell? Wait for the bell. Ding fries are done. Ding fries are done. All right. Guess who just wrote ten facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? Is one that he's Jewish? Guess who just wrote nine facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? He likes classic cars. Guess who just wrote eight facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? You probably said he was Jewish a second time. All right, new article. One fact you didn't know about Michael Richards. You can't use that word in an article. And I will find a new show to write about. Oh, this is great! I feel so alive! Come on, ladies, kick your high heels off and get moving! You guys are a disgrace! Peter, this doesn't seem safe. Yeah, I'm afraid I might. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Thanks, Spider-Man. Everybody gets one. Tell him, Peter. Uh, apparently everybody gets one. Bingo. There it is. Warm cuts. Like cold cuts, but warm. A million dollar idea. Warm cuts? That's dumb. If it's so dumb, how come we're pitching it on Shark Tank? Now, when we first started warm cuts, it was just a gross idea. But this year, we're on track to get sued for twelve and a half million dollars. That's quadruple the projections. You know what? I like your product, but more than that, I like you guys. I'm in, and I'll give you exactly what you're asking for. $100,000 for 10%. What do you say? Does anyone other than Robert have an offer? Well, I fixed the power line, but the town zoning laws prohibit building a pool back there. What are you talking about? It's my yard. I'm sorry, but your house is too close to the curb. Oh, yeah? Well, your eyes are too close to your nose. Well, that may be, but you know what? I only have to wear one goggle when I go swimming in my pool. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Come back here. What? I have to draw you. You're why cavemen painted on walls. Sucks that we're stuck here alone. Wait a minute. Here alone? You thinking what I'm thinking? This was not what I was thinking. That's weird. It's not what I was thinking either. I don't even know how it happened. No, me neither. But this spaghetti's not half bad. A happy mistake, we'll call it. Tis a glorious afternoon. Wouldst thou not agree? Uh, 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 yea, kind shrew. Uh, I before thee, except after she. Enjoy your soup, old man whose butt is out. <gasps> you! <coughs> Jeez, what's wrong with you? We usually start fighting. I'm dying, Peter. Oh. Let me close your privacy curtains to make you more comfortable. <laughs> that feel better? I'm sweating more than a non-legacy applying to Yale. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire. What's up? Hey, Peter, I need some help with my computer. I can't find my photos. Did you look under photos? What is that? It's a folder called photos. Yeah, I, I don't have that. I just have 40 folders all called new folder. Okay, you know what? Click on your hard drive. Okay, now, now the arrow on the screen, that's me, right? Yeah, yeah, that's you. Okay, now, now, now just... Whoa, 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 there's a calculator on this thing? <sighs> Listen, Quagmire, what are you trying to do? I just want to put pictures of my cat on everyone's internet computer. Like, how do I do that? Okay, wait, there's an agreement that just popped up. H hang on, let, let me read the whole thing. Just hit accept. Well, that seems a little foolhardy, doesn't it, Peter? Look, do we have to do this now? I'm watching something. I know, I'm sorry. I I'm just nervous that somebody else is gonna get pictures of their cat on the internet first, and then I'll always be known as the second guy to get pictures of his cat on the internet. Quagmire, 
I don't know how to tell you this, but there's already cats on the internet. Wait, it's it's giving me that pinwheel thing. It, it, it's frozen. It, uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It crashed. The whole thing just crashed. Please, Quagmire, calm down. We'll figure it out. No, Peter, the whole thing's fried. I can't even... Ah! Oh, damn it. What the hell? Hey, you clicked accept. And I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be $60. Peter, I don't think I can have you in the house right now. You're throwing me away? Yes. I'm so sorry, Peter. I just feel like if you don't kindle joy, and that's what the book said... You can't kick me out of my own house. The house that I pay for? That I semi-pay for with help from your parents? That your parents pay for entirely, but I get to put the mortgage coupon in the mailbox? That your parents pay for entirely using auto-draft from their account while I put a pretend mortgage coupon that clearly says, not legal tender, into the mailbox? That your parents pay for entirely using auto-draft from their account while I put a pretend mortgage coupon that says, not legal tender, into Stewie's Sesame Street mailbox? That your parents pay for entirely using auto-draft from their account while Chris puts a pretend mortgage coupon that says not legal tender into Stewie's Sesame Street mailbox while I hold the plastic door open for them? That your parents pay for entirely... Yeah, we get it. Okay. What's happening again? I'm asking you to leave the house. The house that I pay for? Mmm, delicious. I will seriously consider purchasing this product. Oh, what have we here? May I partake? Mmm. Oh, sausage son. Plan to buy great amount for samurai buddies. Sir, you don't have to keep moving to the back of the line. You can have as many as you want. They're free. What are you talking about? Hey, can I have some more sausage? Yeah, me too. I don't know, Peter. That'd be pretty tough to pull off. We just gotta be bold, like those backwards knee birds. Oh, what? What? Oh, what? What? What are you looking at? Oh, you coming for me? Nope. Nope, I'll just take a big backward knee step in the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah, you think I'm afraid of you? I slept on your back last night, you If you think you're coming any closer, you're as mistaken as a thinking seagull. <laughs> okay, the fishing boats will be in soon. We'll fly behind them and scream like hell, and whatever they throw overboard, we get to eat. Um, you think maybe we should just get our own food? You know, we, we have beaks, we can swim. Instead of scrounging off of others, maybe can we... I, can, I, can I see you for a minute? What was that? What, what was that? Uh, you you, you want to be a hawk? No. Is that what you want? Because you're not. No. All right, you see any clutching talons down there? No, we I, have web feet. I know. Well, what are you going to do, paddle your food to death? Uh, you're going to find a little field mouse and paddle him to death with your web feet? No, look, I just thought... You that... thought? You thought? How's that working out for you? Not very well. Not very well. I do not want to have this discussion again. Ugh, oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! Ah! Lois, get in here! It's dark and I'm frightened! I think they've got this thing backwards. Hey, wake up! I had a bad dream, so now your night has to be terrible. Hey, you, go easy on the communion wine today. Don't want another one of your drunken mishaps. Let me get in that belly. Let me get that <laughs> Oh, my God! Ah! I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. We now return to Ellen only talks when her guest is talking. So you want to hear about my movie? Uh, I had a great, we spent great weekend three this months weekend. Shooting I, in I danced all over and, you know, uh, my it's house. A thriller, I, I, but I try it's to really dance in every room at least once a week. I, I also listen to jazz while I vacuum, which is cool. Anyway, it comes out Friday, and I got to work with Julianna Margulies. Weekend. Who I could think there's not like something in the nicer. air, like smog or pollen or po pollinated smog. Or are you just gonna talk over everything? I love that talking I say? on TV. I'll do, I'll do anything to talk on TV. I replaced Peter's. I can't believe it's not butter with real butter. But what? But I, I can't, I can't believe you. <laughs> I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Okay, I'll give you a tiny bit of this. It should help you sleep. What is it? It's cough syrup. It's not really for kids, but a cap full is pretty harmless. Hmm. Oh. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Stewie, what are you doing? Huh? 
Oh, Brian. Oh, there you are. I've been, I've been looking all over the table for you. You know, I'm going to tell you, this stuff you gave me was a lifesaver last night. I was out like a light. And, you know, normally I'm up five or six times to scream and defecate. But you know what? I slept straight through. Stewie, I told you there's alcohol in that. It's not for kids. You're not for kids. <laughs> Stewie, you're drunk. Okay, okay, it's all right. Calm down, calm down. Uh, uh, oh. I think I put my shoes on the wrong feet. Is it 9.15 already? Lois, we gotta go. Our top story. An austere monetary policy has the European Union on the brink of collapse, threatening the entire global economy. And for viewers making less than $40,000 a year, your top story is a big UFC fight this Saturday. Joe, why are you dressed like that? Because I'm a mixologist. Oh, cool. What can you make? You name it, I can make it. Could I get an old-fashioned? Classic. Rum and Coke coming right up. And could I get a Moscow Mule? Rum and Coke for my comrade. I'll have a whiskey Rum, Coke sour. coming right up. Could I get a Rum and Coke? A Pepsi okay? But I guess I learned my lesson about the evils of Wall Street. What are you talking about? This isn't about Wall Street. This is about you. Me? I've been investing in the market forever and doing just fine. You did it for one week and we're literally eating your own kind. This isn't about Wall Street. I cannot stress that enough. Well, money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. It's just you. If we praise Jesus by singing all together, it makes this whole exercise seem less bizarre than it really is when you actually stand back and examine it with some objectivity. Please be seated. And so did the Corinthians finally write back to St. Paul saying, Dude, enough with the letters. We have received them all and we'll get back to you when we have the time. And by the way, a lot of the information you're asking for is available online. Hey, nice talk, Chief. Hey, go bite a wife something pretty. Oh, Father, your homily was so moving today. Okay, Lois, bye. Bye, church. Bye, church guy. Bye, unending conversation. Bye, terrible church people. Bye. Hey, are you a big fat bastard who loves eating at Outback Steakhouse but thinks the portions are too small? Well, good news, fat ass, because now there's the Outback Steakhouse Extreme. We don't have a bloomin' onion, we have a bloomin' pumpkin. You know what else we got? Elephant steaks, 50 pound elephant steaks. And why don't you wash it down with 40 ounces of malt liquor and ranch dressing, you fat <laughs> Outback Steakhouse Extreme. Punish your toilet. Peter, be careful up there. Is this being careful enough, Joe? All right. Yeah. Peter, are you okay? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Oh, my God, Peter, that's the lost Nicholson kid. He's been missing for a week. Oh, yeah. They arrested a custodian because of you. You know, some of you out there are calling me a hero. Others are calling me a hoagie. Those of you from Connecticut are calling me a grinder. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm not just pieces of meat between pieces of bread. I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Wow. 20 years on the force and no one's ever clapped for me. Except for that one sarcastic gay guy. Great observation. Fact is, when I saved that boy, I wasn't thinking. I don't think, I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it. So I climbed up there and came out a hero. It's just like Gandhi always said. Eat as much as you want and do whatever. And don't be afraid to hit each other. My God, it's a miracle. You were able to put me back together again. Yeah, it was actually a pretty simple procedure. Maybe next time go straight to a medical professional and skip the horses and illiterate servants. Well, that is the last time I drink and masturbate on top of a high wall. I thought I was dead. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I don't know, Chris. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Well, so then Jack takes these two pails of water and trips and totally falls down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a funny story. Jill had a tooth fall out and she swallowed it and then we had to root through her feces to find it. And we did. And then we took it to the dentist and he put it back in her mouth. So I guess we're both klutzes, huh? Why don't you spin another tail, crap tooth? No? My turn again? Okay. Jill's barren.
Coming up, a white waiter at a Chinese restaurant? We'll get you the facts on this bizarre story. But first, this week's viral video, Fat Kid Hustles Through Crosswalk. Here it is. Here's little Chubbo pulling up the rear. Oh, he's got to get moving now. That's right. Don't let your chocolate levels get too low. Okay, now see, she didn't say good morning to me, so I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. I noticed you also circled a bunch of things on her ticket. Why did you do that? Because otherwise, the line moves too quickly. You see, the whole thing we're going for here at the TSA is a sort of bored fascism. Hmm, huh, I think I can handle that. I did not tell you to approach! Great job! The worst thing a passenger can do is approach your podium before you tell them to. As bad as those 19 hijackers were, the people we see here every day are much worse. Wow. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. You know, Lois always dreamed about coming here, and now I know why. She was even saving money for it. You made it, Lois. You made it. And what about Bonnie? How you getting her back? Well, I got a plan for that. I hired some guys to come to the house on Tuesday and assault her. And I'll come in and save her. And she'll be so grateful, she'll have to take me back. Joe, today's Tuesday. Well, poop. 